Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And in today's video, I thought, why don't I do a full face using some of my favorite drugstore priced makeup products from Ulta. Let me know if you'd like to see a high-end version of this video as well. Thought we'd just switch it up a little. I have all the products sitting in front of me. And like I said, this isn't like all of my absolute favorites in the entire world. This is just a variation of some drugstore stuff that I like that Ulta sells. And let's just get into this. Let's go. I'm going to start with my eyebrows. For a brow today, I will be using the CoverGirl Thin Brow Pencil. I trapped Luigi in here with me, so you might hear him jingling around in this video. But I did put his bed in the sunshine, so he should be thanking me. This is the second one of these that I've had. I really do like this. It's currently my favorite drugstore brow product. I do wear the shade Honey Brown and I just find it so easy to work with. I think it's very similar to the Brow Wiz. And then for brow gel, I really have been enjoying clear brow gel lately, so I will be going in with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. This is a really good brow gel too. It makes my brows nice and fluffy. Okay, and now for primer, I'm going to use a Wet n Wild primer. I feel like I don't ever hear anyone talk about this, but I've been loving this for at least over a year. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Face Primer. So it has that luminescence similar to like the Becca Backlight Filter. And I genuinely enjoy it. Just, I love that luminescence it gives to my skin. Oh, now he's licking his butt. Okay, so I've mentioned this a ton on my channel, but my favorite all time foundation is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. This is the shade 201 Classic Ivory. I think this is the lightest shade. And we're going to a wedding this weekend, so I'm holding off on putting any self tanner on until pre wedding so I don't have any weird patchy spots. So we're going light today. I did buff that out with the Luxie Round Top Blender Brush. I think it works really well with both a brush and with a sponge. You just get a little higher coverage with a brush. And this is like, speaking of, okay, so speaking of weddings, this is like, if I'm going to a big event like that, this is the foundation I wear because that is how much I trust it. Now I'm going to do a little concealer mixing. So I'm going to mix the e.l.f. Camo Concealer with the Maybelline Age Rewind. I really do like this e.l.f. concealer. I don't like to wear it with lower coverage foundations because of how high coverage it is. And the actual shade I have is so light that I need to mix it or else my eyes are just white. So what I do is I just literally dot, dot. Like I can't put on more than that or we're in trouble. And then I'll add a little of this. And then I just take a sponge and blend it all together. Like even with that tiny, tiny little dot, it's still so light. It's crazy how little goes such a long way with that concealer. Oh, are you upset? You wanna leave me? Fine. You're not my friend anymore? Bye, Luigi. No, I'm not following you, I'm leaving you. Bye. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts meowing to come back in. Speaking of cats, do you guys like my Captain Marvel Goose shirt? I got this on Amazon. All right. Now before we powder, I want to go in with a cream product that I love, the Flower Beauty Blush Balm. This is the shade Pinch. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go right in and squeeze it right onto the blender and just blend it out. Let's add a little more. I feel like this specific sponge might be soaking it up a little bit more than like a beauty blender. This is the um, the AOA Shop Miss A sponge, so. It might be soaking it up a little bit more than my normal, but I love this. It literally makes me want for it to be summer just because this is like what I like to look like in summer. Like I just love like dewy everything. Like we went to DC in September, but here it's still like summer in September. And I just was like the dewiest of the dews. <laughs> it's in a vlog. Actually, I did a dewy makeup look in one of my 
beach vlogs from last year and oh yeah this is the dream but this concealer definitely does settle so i gotta be aware of that which is now why we're going to go in with a powder and i will be using as a actually two different maybelline powders first we're going to go in with the maybelline loose powder for under my eyes i hmm you know what i'm gonna set the lids today yolo why not i go back and forth between setting my eyelids some days i do some days I don't. And I am using the Wet n Wild P65 brush. Ooh, it's a bright under eye. Typically if I use this concealer, I'll go in with a more tinted powder, but the only tinted powder I have is Bare Minerals. And this is not a Bare Minerals kind of video. So for the rest of my face, I will be setting it with the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder. I have Actually, so both, so this one is 05 Fair and this one is 110 Porcelain, but I think there's still the lady shade of each. And I'll be going in with my Sonia Kashuk Tapered Finishing Brush. I've actually seen a lot of these Sonia Kashuk brushes on sale lately at Target. I really do like this one, so keep an eye out on those sale racks. I just think it's comical how the lightest shade of every foundation is still too dark for my natural skin tone. This is why I use self tan. Okay, continuing on, I'm going to do my usual step of the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Spray. And now we're going to work on the eyes. The first thing I'm going to do is put a little eyeliner in my, oh, itch, 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 in my waterline. This is the Burt's Bees Nourishing Eyeliner, and I have it in soft black. I feel like I haven't tried much from Burt's Bees in general, but I do like this eyeliner, so I'm gonna put this on really quick, and then we'll continue. Itchy still, what the heck? Upon further inspection, the thing that was tickling me was, shockingly, a cat hair hanging onto my face. Oh God, do you guys ever just like look in the mirror and you're like, where did you come from? Okay, now one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes is an, a ColourPop palette, and specifically the Dream Street palette. Guys, I just ordered a new ColourPop palette. It's the first one I've ordered in quite some time. Do you want to guess what it is? I don't know if you're going to guess it right, but I did just order a new ColourPop palette, and I am so excited for it to show up. But I am going to use these shades today. I will be starting off... I don't know how to read the actual shades on the back, so I'm gonna start off with this shade here. And I'm going to use the Farrah Large Shading Brush. I've been really enjoying these Farrah brushes. Okay, and now I'm going to use this Wet n Wild P15 brush with this shade up in the corner. Speaking of Ulta, have you guys been indulging in the Ulta 21 Days Beauty? I feel like I've been buying more than I intended. Then I'm gonna go back in with the first shade. It's funny because the last Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I don't think I bought anything. But this one I feel like has a lot better stuff. Now I am going to go in with this shade here with the Farrah Mini Tapered Blending Brush. I think this brush is my favorite one that came in the set. Since we're doing like a bunch of different drugstore products, instead of going to the shimmers in this palette, although I love them, I figure let's give some other drugstore products a little time. I have this L'Oreal Infallible Metallic eyeshadow and of course the shadow name was like on the sticker that you throw out but I think this was called like rose gold or something I'm going to take that and just put it all over the lid but this isn't all I'm gonna add I'm gonna add something else too I'm also going to add in this Catrice art color eyeshadow in chocolate cake by the ocean which looks like this add a little bit more shine and then I am going to take this Luxie mini tapered brush into the dark brown down here. I 
Then I will take this flat Morphe brush that has no number on it. I say, let's use this blue color. Why not? Okay, and then I will take <clears throat> this e.l.f. flat eyeliner brush with this shade next to the blue. Kind of blend those two colors together. Then I'm going to go back into that same shade with the tapered brush. Kind of blend everything together. I'm going to add a little bit more of the chocolate cake color right in the center. And I'm going to blend everything together. Then my last action with this palette will be to take this shade down here in the inner corner. That is a little bit more of an intense eye look that I was going for. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this SL Miss Glam P15 brush with the lightest shade in the palette and just kind of ease up down here a little. I think it's a little too harsh. God, eyeshadow is not something that comes naturally to me. <laughs> Whatever. Good enough for now. Let's get on and do some face stuff while we're on a roll. Also, it doesn't help the like, the way, this eye is always so much easier for me to do than this eye, I don't know. Now I'm going in with the Catrice Sun Lover Bronzer with the Farah 30F brush. For blush, I will be using the CoverGirls Cheeker in Iced Cappuccino with the Moda, I don't know, it doesn't have a name on it, this brush that came in BoxyCharm. And then for highlighter, I will use the Maybelline Master Chrome in 250 with the Morphe M501 brush. And then I'm going to set everything with the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray. Okay, now mascara is where it kind of gets funky because I don't love drugstore mascara. I am, out of everything, the most picky when it comes to mascara. I also don't keep a ton of mascara open at once. But I did see that I had this one open and this is one that I actually like. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Very Black Mascara. It has this type of wand and roller lash is my favorite mascara which also has a spiky curved wand so i kind of get a very similar effect when i use this mascara i also really like pixie mascaras but pixie isn't at ulta yet so there you go there are the lashes the last product i'm going to use is from physicians formula and this is the healthy lip in the shade Oh, natural nude. But actually, I'm lying. I have more to work on, but you'll see in a second what I mean. Okay, so yes, that was all of my drugstore makeup. However, I kind of want to do my nails today, and I figured, why not just do them while I'm recording? I do have a new shade I'm going to try out, and I did check, and you actually can get this at Ulta, so. This is from Essie, and this is the Say It Ain't Soho color it's like this chrome orange I don't know not a seasonal color at all but whatever I don't think you can get my top coat and base coat at Ulta unfortunately I use the Sally's big primer base coat and big quick dry top coat so I actually did not pay for this my friend Lulu sent me a link to get a free Essie polish and this is the shade I picked it took like a couple months but it's here and I figure let's do this now while I'm filming as I am filming this video, if you are caught up on my life, Scott's actually on a plane right now, home, coming home from a work trip in California. So I want to get my filming done this morning before he gets back so that we can just chill the rest of the night, which I'm sure we will have no problem figuring that one out. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. So let me know if you guys like these kind of full face of various favorites i do want to do like a high-end one because a lot of times when i was picking stuff out i was like oh i want to oh wait i guess that's kind of higher end not so much drugstore i want to do like that same version with ulta let me know if there's like other stores you'd like to see that with i'm also considering doing full face of like the favorite my most favorite products i've gotten from various subscription boxes let me know if that idea interests you all right here we go we're going in with this guy 
I don't think I could have picked a less seasonal color than orange right now. Everything's like colorful for festival season right now and I'm going orange like it's freaking Halloween over here. But I do love Halloween. If you don't think every day I change my mind as to what I want to be for Halloween this year, you don't know me. I have contemplated a female Freddie Mercury, Captain Marvel, but if one of the cats was an orange cat, definitely Captain Marvel. I, I've, I've been contemplating Freddie Mercury for a while, but like, is that weird? <laughs> That's weird, right? I don't know. I've just been on a queen kick the last, ugh, I don't even know how long. I, all right, that's one coat. I think I'm gonna do a second just for precaution. I can't stop listening to Queen music. I think the only new song that I've heard lately is Seven Rings, which is obviously the best song ever. Let's see, what else is new? This is becoming like a chatty get, do my nails with me. I've been binge watching Parks and Rec. I've never fully watched the whole thing through. I've only kind of seen episodes here and there. So I've been enjoying that. Uh, as far as Netflix go, I started watching the, uh, what is the show called? The one about the, the docu-series about the little girl that got kidnapped. I didn't, I, I started the first episode. I couldn't, I probably will eventually finish it. It just was like a little bit of a slow pace for me, especially after the last one I had watched was the Ted Bundy tapes or whatever it was called. And that one captivated me a little bit faster. Shocking that everything I watch is about death, but I really want to watch the Amy Schumer uh, comedy special. I'm not really a comedy special person, but something about Amy Schumer, she gets me and makes me laugh. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for a second. Here's the shade. It's pretty. I did a horrible job staying in the lines of my little baby fingernails, but we can fix that later. I actually just tried a new product today. Wow, this is really a chatty video. One second, let me get it. Before I went to film this video, I was like, why is my hair frizzy mess? And I have like 5,000 hair products. I was like, something has to be for anti-frizz. I can only find one. This is the John Frieda Frizzies Beyond Smooth Frizz Immunity Primer. Primes hair for smooth, frizz resistant style with pure coconut oil. So I shoved some of this in my hair beforehand. Let's see. Actually, it did get rid of some of the frizz, so. We'll see how that goes. I actually really need a haircut. I'm thinking of maybe getting a haircut before the wedding we have on Saturday, so kill two birds with one stone, get my hair cut, and not have to style for the wedding. We'll see if I do that. I am the worst when it comes to getting haircuts because it takes like three hours for them to color and cut and dry my hair every time, and I hate it with all of my might. I am like not a person who likes to be at a place like that. I don't like getting my nails done. I never get my nails done. I always do, do my own nails. I don't like getting my hair cut. I just hate salon-like places. I don't know why. Well, I actually know why for my nails because I have baby nails and they always laugh at me and I hate getting my hair done because I have so much thick hair. It takes them forever to do my hair. Oh. God, did I already mess up a nail? I already messed up a nail, but I just finished the top coat, so thanks for staying a little extra time with me while I did my nails. Leave me comments below about all the questions I asked in this video, and as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!